Hi, I am Santos Parajuli from Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, School of Engineering, Kathmandu University. Uh, welcome to the fourth lecture, Analysis of a Bipolar Junction Transistor, in the five-part lecture series of the course, Electronics Engineering. Let's analyze bipolar transistor large and small signal behavior uh, by finding all the branch currents, all the node potentials, and by drawing the small signal equivalent circuit around the operating point. Uh, the calculated voltages and currents should be verified by using software as well. The circuit has one NPN type bipolar transistor, a collector resistor, a base resistor, a current source and two batteries. Tran transistor DC beta is specified as 100 and early voltage as 100 volts. Uh, for a forward biased emitter diode, uh, the base emitter potential difference is given as 0.7 volts. Uh, some basic concepts are needed to solve this nonlinear circuit and these concepts can be generalized to solve any nonlinear circuits with bipolar transistor. A. Uh, there must be consistency in assuming the polarity of potential drop across an electronic device. B. Uh, one should always be aware of the fact that current through a resistor is not equal to voltage over resistance uh, but is always equal to voltage difference over resistance. C. Uh, sum of entering currents at a node is always equal to sum of outgoing currents through that node. D. Irrespective of transistor operating region, uh, emitter current is always equal to sum of base, car base and collector currents. Uh, this is simply Kirchhoff's current law. Uh, base current in a transistor is negligible. E. To ensure active reason of operation of a bipolar transistor, emitter diode should be turned on uh, and collector diode should be turned off. F. Small signal equivalent circuit for NPN transistor uh, is same as that of PNP type transistor and is shown in the circuit. The equivalent circuit has two resistors and one dependent current source. Uh, GM is a factor uh, which relates output collector current with input base emitter potential difference. RE is emitter diode resistance and RO is related with the collector diode resistance. RO arises due to early effect and models the non-ideality of the dependent current source. Uh, naturally, R should be much lower than RO uh, because emitter diode is turned on and collector diode is turned off. Uh, R pi is DC beta times R E. Uh, the value of R E is 26 millivolts over quiescent emitter current. R O is given by the ratio of early voltage to quiescent emitter current and GM is the inverse of RE. Uh, GM, RE and RO are the small signal parameters of a transistor and they are always operating point dependent. Uh, to find all the branch currents and node potentials, uh, let's start from the easiest. Uh, the emitter current is 1 milliampere uh, because there is a current source uh, sinking 1 milliampere current from emitter node to minus 10 volts battery. Assuming active region operation, uh, collector current is also nearly 1 milliampere. The drop across collector resistor RC is 1 times 8, uh, that is nearly 8 volts. The collector node potential is 10 volts minus 8 volts, uh, which is 2 volts. After finding collector potential, uh, let's find the base current. Uh, in the active region, base current is collector current over beta, which is nearly 10 milliamperes. Uh, the base current also can be found by taking the difference of emitter current and collector current. To find base uh, node potential, uh, base current is expressed as 0 minus VB over RV. Uh, this yields uh, minus 1 volt base potential. 
the emitter potential is uh, computed as minus 1.7 volts. The transit is indeed in active region because a collector node potential is 2 volts, base node potential is minus 1 volt and emitter node potential is minus 1.7 volts. Potential difference across the cu current source is higher potential minus lower potential uh, which is minus 1.7 uh, minus minus 10 volts which is uh, which equals 8.3 volts uh, small signal emitter diode resistance r e is 26 ohms at 1 milliampere emitter current r o is early voltage over emitter current uh, 100 kilo ohms uh, gm is 1 over r e which is 38.5 milliamperes per volt now let's verify the circuit using multi-sim and electronic simulation software.